2018 Duramax Colorado and uh, Mike is going to be regearing this truck soon so we wanted to do some initial driving impressions as it is. As far as aftermarket modifications the only thing done so far are hammerhead front and rear bumpers, worn Xeon 10,000 pound platinum winch up front, ARB twin compressor under the hood, special mount from 589 Fab, We've got front and rear air compressor ports mounted in and then uh, S-pop down here in the dash to control you know, all your lighting and air compressor and all that other stuff. Otherwise, it's basically stock. There's a soft topper on the back. How long have you been driving this truck so far? About a year and a half now, getting just coming up on 35,000 miles, and we've worn out the original set of tires. So new tires and wheels are going on next week and a half, two weeks. You're going bigger on the tire size? Yeah, I'll go about two inches taller and a half inch narrower on width to keep them tall and skinny. So what are we hoping to gain with the 410 rig? It's running 342s from the factory with a diesel. The gears are fine on the highway doing 60 miles an hour, turning low RPM, but they suck for pulling the trailer. Uh, we do a lot of pulling with the boat, and I've got a trailer we pull around quite a bit. You can see right here at 60, 62 miles an hour, we're just barely over 1500 RPM. And when you got a load hooked up on this thing, the diesel has the torque to pull the load, but your sacrifice is fuel economy. And right now we're not pulling a trailer, it's showing 34 miles per gallon, which is great. The minute I hook a trailer up, boom, we're dropped down to 18 to 20. You hit a hill like what we're going to do here now, and it's going to drop significantly from there. A common rebuttal whenever people are hearing about gears and they own a diesel truck is, oh, my torque will make up all the difference, but that's not always the case, is it? No. That's where the, that's where the misconception is. These big diesel engines put out all the torque and all this power. To put that power to the ground efficiently, you absolutely need gears. Um, you can look to guys like Lanny over at Dynamite Diesel that have extensive testing on their UCC truck, both on the dyno and on the track, on the street, and then pulling the sled. He, he swaps from three different axle ratios in that truck based on the need it's pulling. That truck has got probably more power than 90% of the trucks you're ever going to come across. And the ring and pinion is how he puts the power to the ground efficiently. Based on the job he's doing, he selects the right ratio to get that job done. That's what we're looking to do with this truck with 410s. By switching to 410s, we picked up about five and a half to six miles per gallon fuel economy in this truck over the last couple thousand miles with factory tires. That alone will tell you on the freeway, going up the hills, whatever you're doing, the truck is putting power to the ground more efficiently and it doesn't have to work the engine and transmission as hard to get the same job done as it did with 342s. Drivability wise and how it felt, it, it was awesome. The 410 is the ideal ratio in this diesel pickup on a factory tire. Uh, that 410 ratio is going to work great. You see the change here. We've got the new AEV Crestone wheel and roughly a 32 inch. This is a 235-8017. It's about 9 inches wide, almost 32 inches tall. Um, this would be about the limit of what I would do on a 410 gear. If you're going to build anything on a gas truck or a diesel truck in a Chevy Colorado platform up to about a 32 inch tire, I would recommend a 410 ratio. 
if you're going anything bigger than this, then you need to just skip and go straight to a 456. Uh, this is kind of borderline here. When we put these tires on last week, you can tell, uh, you can feel it, the difference in the truck. You can tell the truck has got something there now. Not that you're working harder, but you do have a little more throttle input. I did lose about a mile per gallon, mile and a half per gallon going to a larger tire here. Um, this is what I would say is about your limit. If you're gonna go any bigger than this, go straight to a 456. Anything on the factory platform on a factory tire up to about a 32 inch, your 410 is gonna be the ideal setup in a gas or a diesel truck. So if you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call at Nitro Gear. We're happy to do what we can to help you out.